Hi guys, and the rumor mill is rolling today. Merry Christmas to you. So, in this episode, I come across an article that is about Evelyn Lozada, and I'm going to get right into it. So, you all know that Evelyn Lozada returned to Basketball Wives in the last season of the show. Y'all also probably learned that early, early February, February this year, she split from her then fiance Carl Crawford that played for the Dodgers. And they are on good terms. They only concentrate on their three-year-old child. And the split was apparently due to him. His infidelity is what it says. But anyway, moving on. So now she is rumored to be dating French Montana. And when I tell you the vlogs and blogs and websites are not happy about it. They do not want her with French Montana. I have read some comments that was like, wow. So, nobody's feeling them as a couple. I've seen stuff like they hope she don't sell out. They hope, just all kinds of stuff. So, we'll see how this relationship goes, but let's go on and get into the tea of this whole situation. So, Here's an article from TMZ about the situation, and it goes on to tell you all how French Montana um, had this little fancy meal for her, and it was for two with his little brand name, French Vanilla, little drink or whatever. So, um, it says how they met, which Evelyn and the rapper met through mutual friends and have been hanging out for weeks. I guess... But now let me get on to this tea. The tea for me is that Latasha Duffy, y'all know Duffy from the Basketball Wives, her castmate Duffy. <laughs> Apparently, she used to talk to French Montana or like him, something went on or whatever. So this is what I'm wondering. Will there be tea on the next season of this show concerning she and Duffy over him? Is she really feeling him or is it a storyline? We don't know. I personally think Evelyn is probably really feeling him because Evelyn likes to date. She likes to, you know, have fun and experiment around with different types of guys. She normally does a pro athlete, but I guess everybody's been talking about her and the pro athletes. Maybe she decided to dip in a different pun and try her little rap out or something. Girl, <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with that, Evelyn. <laughs> Do you, boo? <laughs> and so, I don't see what the big upset is and all the, all the, you know, comments and tweets or whatever about her dating him. I, do, I personally think she's just having a little fun. I do not see him as being um, somebody she would be with for the long haul. I don't see that at all. I see somebody has to pass the time to the next great man comes by that hopefully that will be more husband material. That's just my opinion. But honey, I can see Tammy right now. This bitch. No, this bitch didn't. You all know that Tammy had issues with her and the whole Kenny situation. And while Tammy, fo Tammy foods with her, at the same time, I feel like Tammy is like, I'm going to food with you because we're going to do this show. And we cool and all, but she won't ever be a person that I trust deeply. I feel like that's Tammy's attitude toward it. So, yeah, I... So, I, that, that's why I say I can see Tammy now with that reaction because Duffy is her castmate. And it's just like, though they wasn't married, that's a different situation. But still, you get where I'm going? Because, like, Tammy, you know, when you feel like somebody always messing with somebody, somebody has been through, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. But it'll be some drama. So, anyway... Now that we got that little tiny bit of sips tea out of the way, I'm going to have to go get my glass of wine. I'm feeling a little parched. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to move on to the next one because I have one more review to do after this one before bedtime. 
it's really early, but you know, <laughs> Chanel's got a man at home. Girl, yes, I do. So I got to go tend to this man. But anyway, so I'll see y'all in the next sip of tea.